in this episode of Dr. Chess Adventures. It's all about positional battle. Both sides will try to establish a position and a line of attack. Only one will come out ahead. Check. Black decides not to take here because Check. of that. And potentially some other stuff down the road. Check. Instead, Black decides, yeah, just to go to E7. We just had to back up a little bit. Inside right, castle. castle. Oh, good. Got that resolved. I'm going to bring up the queen. Black securing the center there. Going to put pressure on the knight. More pressure. Uh-oh, didn't calculate that. Got to retreat. Black smartly moves his king out of the way, knowing that we got some tricks up our sleeve up the middle. Not going to trade queens there. Decide to put pressure on the queen with a knight. Decide to get that knight involved again. Wanted to do Check. this, but unfortunately, black blocked it before it could happen. So instead, going to go for the corner, putting pressure on the queen, and... Yeah, it's a mistake. Our knight is kind of sort of pinned. I mean, we could go back and defend right here. But, you know, h2 is under threat. So we get the bishop and the queen, and then potentially black can also bring in its knight. So they get a lot of ways to hit that. So instead of playing that, decided to go uh, with bishop to f4. And decided to bring in the queen to g3 to avoid the knight attack. This could potentially... I mean, I, th I think taking with the rook is better. I ended up taking with the queen there. Okay. Right now, h2 is guarded by the queen. But we want to do some checking with our queen. And if we leave this space we're in trouble so gonna be playing h3 there okay now we can go check. ahead and start with our checking want to get the b3 bishop involved if possible so trying to keep that in mind we do take the knight so we relieve some pressure but now black is going to get a rook uh doubled up with or protecting the queen, so put some pressure on us. Because I'm not protecting the g4 pawn. I want to get a mate here, so going to take with the bishop there. All right, getting tricky in this spot. Check. Going to check. Going to check with the bishop. Check. Now I'm going to bring the queen forward one. Maybe not the strongest move there, but we get a good break right here. Black pushes the pawn. Now we can bring that bishop back to h3. We're going to lose it, but it's going to buy us some time to get that back row secured. So, black pushes with the pawn. Again, hammering their position. We're going to build ours. Rook to e1. Black takes. We retake. Black takes with the pawn because it can't exactly take with the queen there because... Well, you know, that, that wouldn't be good. That would destroy the attack. So, uh, at this point, we decide to play Rook 2. Check. Yay, check. And Black resigns because, I mean, what does Black do in this position? Do you, you play... I mean, I guess you could protect with the Queen there. Check. And then you could save the position, but... No, we're not winning in that spot. So, anyway, uh, that uh, wraps up this episode of Dr. Chess Adventures. Thanks for watching.